How's it going, everybody? And welcome to the Music Production Podcast, the show about all things making music. I'm your host, Brian Funk. I'm a musician, educator, both a certified trainer. And this is the 150th episode of the show, which is pretty awesome. Super excited that we made it this far. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for your support. I really love doing this show, and I love all the feedback and response it gets and getting to talk to so many interesting people and just hash out ideas and share them with the world. It's been great. Thanks so much. Before we get into today's show, I'd like to draw your attention to the music in the background, which is from Frozen Grains by Elephant. This is a collection of 60 Ableton Live presets for any style of music that was built from analog sources that were meticulously processed through granular effects. And you've got your macro controls, you've got a whole slew of interesting sounds, and you've also got some instrument racks that are great for sound design. You can get this by going to Elephant's site, elphnt.io, and you can also get it if you are a member of the Music Production Club during the month of February. Thomas Glendening, the man behind Elephant, very graciously has given this pack to all members of the Music Production Club during the month of February. So you can get that by going to brianfunk.com slash mpc. If you're already a member, you have already received the download, so go check it out. And thanks to Elephant for this great offer. All right, so today's episode is going to be a probably short little one, but it's going to set the tone for much of the rest of the month on this show. And it's called Finish February Challenge. Now, many of us have gone through the January 2020 challenge, which was the challenge to make a new piece of music every single day during the month of January and share it. Super difficult challenge. I'm glad it's over. I might have some thoughts to share with you about it at the end. Uh, But really rewarding and helpful. So the Finish February challenge is let's do something with all of that stuff we've come up with. You've probably got a lot of music that you've made in January. And even if you haven't participated in January, I'm willing to bet you have unfinished music on your hard drive somewhere. The Finish February challenge is to release something. Finish something and release it during the month of February. And this could be anything from a single to an EP to a full album. It doesn't matter. The point is to get your music out there. Today, it is so awesome because we have the capability to put our music in front of the whole world. You can very easily get your music online and on every streaming service so that everyone can hear it. So let's take advantage of that and put our music out. If this was 25 years ago before this was possible, this would be a dream. You'd say, oh boy, if only I could do that, I'd be all over that. So let's actually get it done. I think it'd be awesome if everyone listening can get something on the streaming services for everyone else to hear. So what I want you to just maybe think about here is the satisfaction you would feel If you could find yourself on Spotify or Apple Music or Google Play or wherever you go, Tidal, think about searching for your name and having your music come up. How cool would that be? How fun will it be for you to tell your friends to go listen to you on Apple Music or Spotify or your coworkers or whatever? Think of the satisfaction you'll feel. And maybe that can be what drives us through this. We're not talking about making anything in particular. It can be as simple as one song. It can be a whole EP or a whole album, a concept album, whatever you want to do. But the point is, let's try to get something done and released this month during February. So I've done this in the past. The first time was during February 2018, and I have a podcast about it, which I'm going to link in the show notes. And I also produced what I think is a pretty useful tool. It's a spreadsheet. It's just on Google... um, Google Sheets, it's called. It's kind of like um, Excel, really. And it's just a bunch of columns with some names and titles and numbers for you to categorize your music. You'll put down each jam you did for the days of January. They're all numbered. You give them maybe a name. There's a place for some notes. So anything special about it, you just want to write down maybe how you made it or what kind of song it was. The BPM is there. The key is there. There's a column for the mood, theme, and genre. Um, You can even make a little group using this. There's a column for how complete your track is. 
And the last one is a rating system of one to four stars. So you can figure out what your favorite stuff is and probably the stuff you want to work on the most. I think it can be really helpful. I did it myself. I filled it all out. I'll share mine too so you can see what a finished one looks like. And that was actually really helpful for me, even though I didn't finish anything that February. But it, I think it's um, the reason why I was able to finish my last EP, which was called Passings, which I released in November, that I haven't really talked about too much yet, believe it or not. So I'm going to have some more information about that soon. But that is already out under Brian Funk on all the streaming services. And it's a lot of fun to write in your name and just see your tracks come up. So this spreadsheet might help you, I think. I'm going to use it myself again and get an idea of what stuff I have that's good and what stuff I want to work on. So during the month of February, I'm going to dedicate a lot of episodes of the podcast towards parts of the process of releasing music and getting it out there. Um, one thing I can, I guess, give you right now, um, I, I like to use the service DistroKid, and they have given me a link to give everyone 7% off um, that'll be in the show notes too, so that might be helpful to you if uh, saving money motivates you. Whatever it takes to make you get your stuff on those services, release it, put it out. And once you do that too, it becomes easier and easier to do it every time. You get more comfortable with it. So this month, we'll go over a lot of that stuff, so stay tuned. I mentioned in the beginning of the podcast that... Um, I was sort of glad January was over. I had so much fun doing it. I live streamed every single one I did. I did 25 of them. I missed, I guess, what's that, like six or seven days, unfortunately. But um, it's not easy. But it's also not impossible. And there's so much you can learn about just uh, being consistent and dedicated through doing this process. But there's a couple things that I also realized um, for one, um, as much as I loved live streaming, which I really did, I had a lot of fun with it. I'm going to be doing a lot more of that in the future. But doing a new track every single time was pretty stressful. And uh, towards the end of the month, I really felt um, just uh, paranoid almost about I'm going live and I don't have anything to really make yet. And I'm under the gun. And that pressure is great, but... I, I don't like that pressure every single day. And the truth is, I think as a musician and a producer, you know, that's not supposed to be what you do every day anyway. And I, I don't think you're supposed to start something new every day. Sometimes you got to finish things up, which is really what February is going to be about. But it made me think about how you really need to, in order to have happiness as an artist, you really do need some balance. Uh, Doing January is great. It's a lot of fun. You, you get to make music every single day and create something and share it and put it out there. And I love that. But it comes at a cost. You know, um, other things in your life have to sort of move out of the way sometimes. And I think I missed, missed that a little bit, you know, maybe just not going out when um, because I wanted to do my jams and this is like every day or um, just... It could be, I guess, social life stuff, but even just the act of like taking some time to do some of the other stuff that's important to making music that maybe isn't exactly making music. Like, I, I love playing around with sounds and making my presets and my packs, um, the sound design stuff. Even like on days when I don't feel like making music, there's a lot I can do, such as sampling things or building templates and presets or organizing or just listening to music for inspiration. You know, on some of the last few days of January, I was having trouble deciding what to do. And I remember saying to myself, what kind of music do I even like? Because I was just like out of ideas. And, and I've, I just think I, a day or two off would have been really helpful to come back to the creation process in a fresh way. I think you really have to recharge the creative battery sometimes with life and experience and inspiration. Just um, some of the things maybe that I didn't do because I was doing my jams are actually really helpful in making me want to make music, even though you know, people always talk down on watching too much TV or things like that or vegging out. But a lot of times I get inspiration from that too. Now, I don't think you should go overboard with that either. That's why I'm talking about a balance. But I think you can grow when you're not making music too. 
of course, the actual practice is the most important thing, and I think that has helped a lot for me during the month. But I do think it's made me realize that sometimes taking a step away is really helpful for regaining some kind of perspective. And that's what I mean when I say I'm kind of glad it's over. It's been nice to not have to make something new over the last few days. And since I'm starting to think about finish February, now I'm wondering, like, what can I use? What can I finish? And that's got me inspired in another way. And I think there might be some kind of rhythm here that we can find a way to tap into where we go through, like, a creative phrase where we, we just... Um, or phase, creative phase, where we just make a lot of stuff and then we step back and then we kind of sort it out and figure out what's good and what we want to pursue. And that's what I want to do at Finish February. And I hope you'll join me, whether or not you did January, because I definitely didn't need to do January to have a lot of unfinished ideas. I already have plenty of them. Now I have plenty more. I'm excited to start exploring them. So with that spreadsheet that I mentioned before, one of the things you can also do, and I encourage you to do, is go back to older projects, maybe within the last year, say, and see if there's anything in there that you want to pursue and develop. And by putting it all in the spreadsheet, it allows you to see some commonalities and figure out which songs and ideas will work well together. It's a little way of organizing things, and it might give you a plan for the rest of the month. So that will be a focus of the podcast. I'm also going to probably be doing some live streams of this process myself because one thing I've learned about live streaming is it really focuses you and makes you have to stay on task. Whereas if I'm alone, I can kind of drift off and maybe check the internet or just you know, lose myself in something else or not spend my time efficiently. When you know people are watching it makes you more conscious of what you're doing. So I think that's going to be a, a thing I use in the future to keep myself motivated and productive is give myself an audience that can call me out if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, almost like a boss at work, say. You know, when the boss is around, I'm sure uh, productivity goes up a little bit. So um, it's, it's uh, a good thing to sort of figure out some things that might help you stay on track and productive. All right. I hope you'll join me. Finish February. Um, th probably one of the best places um, where we'll be talking about this will be on the Discord for the Music Production Club. So any members of the Music Production Club, head out to our Discord server and we'll talk about it and we'll root each other on just like we did in January. It was a great thing to have for me. I got a lot of inspiration. I got ideas for tracks. I also just got that feeling of like, well, they're still doing it. I have to do it. Uh, that's a feeling you get if you've ever gone to like a fitness class and you're getting tired and you look around the room and everyone else is still doing it. You say, well, if that person's still going, I got to keep going. And you don't want to be the first one to quit. I think we have a similar thing going on in that Discord. So we'll be talking about Finish February in there. There's a little channel now that I created for Finish February. But um, give it a shot and think about that satisfaction you'll find yourself having at the end of the month or whenever during this month when you put something out and you can have people just check you out on Spotify, just search you, and you'll come up right alongside their favorite artists. Thanks so much for listening to the podcast. 150 episodes down and many more to come. Very excited to keep on going. If you are enjoying the show, thank you for listening and consider leaving a review on your podcast provider. That always helps. I think it gets the podcast showing up more in search results, which means maybe more people will listen. And that would be cool to spread the word, the good spirit of making music, helping each other through it and talking to people that are experienced and knowledgeable. It's just so much fun and I'm really happy you're a part of this. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of the day.